Look at this beautiful apple tree we planted last year. And it's doing pretty good, or so it seems, right? We're gonna show you something here that I'm a little worried about, but we're gonna take care of it in this video. Stick with us and I'll show you what happened and what we're gonna do about it. Check this out. Look at the thickness of this branch and the size of it, okay? Pretty big, pretty big branch. Ripped right off the tree. Now let me show you where it was damaged and ripped off. Right here, if you can see that, you're gonna look at some damage here on the ends. What's that look like, guys? Nibbled off, what's that look like? You got it. Let's see if we can find them. Uh, I don't know, I cut the grass today. Let's see if we can find the tracks and identify them. Anybody know what that is? Yep, it is a deer track. We have got some deer and they were nibbling on this apple. Look at that one, it's pretty clear. They were nibbling on this apple here and that apple I just showed you. And look at this poor peach. Look at this guy. Leaning sideways unbelievable these guys got me good the dog didn't do anything about it unbelievable for him so we've got a little bit of damage to the other trees but we've got to prevent these deer from getting in here now it's a fact that deer can standing jump 12 feet and they can get over 14 feet of fencing how do i know that i used to live in michigan we've got some pretty big deer up there <clears throat> and they're very powerful. Texas deer are a little bit different, but they're very, very similar. They are whitetails, right? I used to live near one of the Ford Proving Grounds. High, high, high speeds on those Ford Proving Grounds, testing out vehicles up to, I think it was 140, 150 mile an hour track. And I think a couple drivers died. If I remember my history correctly, a couple drivers died on the Proving Grounds near me because of deer. Deer jumped in there. They had tried to hunt them out. They couldn't do it. Uh, so, and they put up, I think it was, I think they got up to 15 feet of fence and I think that finally did the trick. So is my little bit of construction fencing here going to make a difference? I've got some little T posts right here, hopefully. So what I'm gonna do, and we'll get that going here in a second is put four T posts around the outside of this tree, angle them out, out enough so that deer can't get his neck all the way over. And hopefully it's a deterrent. He can just push it over, right? Deer are very strong. He can just push it over, but it's gonna be a deterrent. It's not a foolproof method to keep them out, but hopefully he'll go nibble on something else or they will go nibble on something else. All right, so let me get this thing up and I'll show you what I did. Okay, here it is, quick, simple, and cheap. The idea is to keep the deer's neck far enough away from the uh, outer or leaves and especially those branches. I can't believe you ripped off a branch that big, but keep it far enough away as a deterrent. Now, if they wanna get in there, they're gonna get in there, but since it's small, he's probably not gonna jump over because he's gonna jump right into the tree. So it'll deter him from doing that. And hopefully it's tight enough around where he can't push in on it uh, to where as he's uh, reaching. If he does, and if he's able to, he's just gonna get some of those outer uh, buds, uh, those sprouts or shoots that are coming up off last year's growth. And that's okay. I just don't want him to destroy a tree like this poor pear tree over here and to rip another big branch off like he did off this Dorset golden apple. So that's the idea. Hope you liked the video and if you have any comments, leave them in the section, uh, comment section below. Now keep the comments kind. Everybody's got a different way of doing things. If you have a way of doing it that's different, let me know. And also don't dog on this because I've seen this done before and it works and I do have experience with deer. So we appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe. Now, we've, we're growing every day and we're so excited about it. 
subscribe to the channel. We've got more videos. We've got a video that comes out every week. And for my subscribers who are watching this, don't forget to hit that bell because it reminds you to uh, when we put out a new video. Though a lot of you know that we put out a video every Tuesday, uh, just hit that and it'll send an email to you. You'll get it. Also, if we have any special offers or anything like that, we can shoot those to you uh, as well that way. So thank you everyone once again, and we appreciate you being here. Have a great day, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.